morning everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! We hear many different sounds. Some are high, some are low, some are loud, and some are soft. The differences among these sounds depend on the characteristics of sound waves. In our Shensha Amazing episode for today, we will be discussing the characteristics of sound waves. We will be starting with intensity and loudness. Ano ang relationship na intensity at loudness? The loudness or volume of a sound is determined by the intensity of the sound wave. Now, let's define the terms intensity and loudness. Between intensity and loudness, ang intensity ay ang measurable physical attribute of a sound wave. It has a certain value, or in other words, ang intensity ay quantitative. On the other hand, ang loudness naman is a physiological sensation caused by a sound wave. The loudness or softness of sound may be perceived by two persons differently. Pero ang intensity ay measurable at hindi subject to individual interpretation. In general, the more intense the sound, the louder it seems. When is a loud sound produced? A loud sound is produced when there is an increase in the amplitude of the wave. The smaller the amplitude, the softer the sound. And the larger the amplitude, the louder the sound. For example, when a drum is hit harder, the amplitude of the sound waves is being increased. The most common unit used to express loudness is decibel. It is symbolized by small letter D and capital letter B. We can see different sources of sound having different ranges in the decibel scale. For example, the faintest sounds an average human ear can hear are at zero decibels. Our breathing is very faint. It is about 10 decibels. Objects starting from 70 to 80 decibels are already considered loud and continued exposure to these sounds can cause gradual hearing loss by permanently damaging the hair cells in the inner ear. At 130 decibels to 140 decibels, the human ear is already in pain. This is sometimes called the threshold of pain because sounds at this level can hurt the ears. If we continue to expose ourselves to these sources just like jet engine, and fireworks, a physical damage may occur in our ear which can lead to permanent hearing loss. Before we end our short Shensha Amazing episode, let's have a quick recap of the things that we have discussed in this video. We discussed about the characteristics of sound waves focusing on intensity and loudness. We describe the relationship of intensity and loudness, defined intensity, we also describe loudness, we were introduced to the unit for sound which is decibel, and we found out about different objects having different intensities in terms of the decibel scale. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe. 
like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!